Hey everybody, I thought I'd take this opportunity of sunshine on a good Friday just to get all my John Deere's out for some fresh air and thought I'd just do a quick little walk around tour. The very first one here is a 1963 model 110 and I include this in the collection just because of the historical significance. This is the very first year of the 110. They made a thousand of them. Um, distinguishing characteristics of the 63 include uh, the fiberglass fenders and the fiberglass cover here. Uh, it's the only 110 to have a 7 horse Kohler K161S engine in it. This one's kind of special in the fact that it's the latest known 1963. It's uh, serial number um, um, 3546, uh, fourth from the last 1963 built, and uh, which makes it currently the latest one known. And if you wanted to start over here, in the first row are my gear drive custom color, or better known as patio tractors. The second row are all of the hydros. These first three are, are arguably my favorite. Um, these three 110s, um, all three are 1960s, and in beautiful, well-kept, original shape. Beautiful, well -kept, original shape. All original seats, original hoods. Um, the 1969 tractors are kind of unique in the fact that the John Deere didn't have um, a unique type code for uh, the 1969 tractors. So the only real way to authenticate them is, uh, is, is by showing signs of our original dogwood white paint. So um, that's, that's part of my obsession in finding nice originals that um, are easy to authenticate. Um, all three of these tractors came out of uh, a collection in Indiana um, by a gentleman uh, who, who I now consider a friend, Randy. I blame him for starting my obsession with these patio tractors. So you've got the red 1969-110, the blue 1969-110, and an equally as nice orange 1969-110. Also, a 1969 is this 112. This is an April yellow. And uh, a little bit uh, unique um, right rung or did different. It's got the optional Tecumseh engine, HH100, opposed to the Kohler. Uh, I prefer the Kohlers, but this was such a nice, well-kept original that uh, I couldn't p p pass it up. And this is uh, this is my shop mascot, Ruger. He goes everywhere with me. Best dog I've ever had. Next up is a 1970 112 with the optional uh, 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 Kohl Kohler K301 engine. Nice original that came out of Ohio. Next one up here is a 1971 112 with the optional Kohler. Um, they, John Deere, produced the patio or custom color tractors from 1969 into 1971, but really only into about the first quarter of 71. So as uh, far as uh, three years ago, they made by far the fewest 1971 models. We're making this one a little bit special. And what's kind of neat too is it's got its original optional 43-inch uh, belt belly blade as well. Uh, all my tractors have original uh, John Deere hubcaps. I just think that's kind of flagship for the pretty suburbanite uh, tractors that they are. This is another 1971 110 with the optional Kohler. And what makes this one I think a little bit more special is it's currently the latest known 112 patio tractor uh, recorded. So um, that's through the uh, Weekend Freedom uh, Machines Registry and my 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 own that I've been tracking. So I'm always uh, looking for 71 uh, 112s to see if I can find one later. And so far I haven't. Nice, well kept uh, 112 as well. Um, I try to keep all of my my uh, uh, tractors in the original colors now. Um, when I say original, uh, most of the DD dealers 
got the tractors without hoods or seats. So you as a customer would walk into the dealership and pick out whichever color you want and they would put that color seat and hood on it. So there is no quote unquote corrector or original per, per, per se, but I think it's important to me to try to keep the you know, original look that, you know, the tractors had for, you know, 50 plus years. And, um, I think it has a story to tell. So I try not to swap hoods and seats, but in this case, this tractor, um, was originally yellow and having a nice, uh, yellow 112 example, but not having an orange one, I decided to swap this one over to the color orange, just to have the full set of, uh, four colors and 112 models. The hydro line down here consists of five model 140s and two model 120s. Um, this 140H3 is the only um, John Deere patio tractor that I have that's been re that it's that's been re restored or repainted. Um, this was originally blue and um, having two other blue 140s already I, I thought I'd swap it over to red. Um, have a new old stock uh, red seat on it, um, a, a repainted but yet original red pad patio hood on it. Thought it was a good good candidate to to put a restored HD air cleaner that that, that I have and a reproduction brin, brin, brinley um, garden cart. It's a grill guard that folds down into a, a cart as well. I just think this is a super sharp looking tractor and, a, and it'll be a fun little show crew cruiser as well. Um, one of the nicest originals, in my opinion, I have uh, is this technically late 1969 140H3. But what's unique about it is, is although it was made in 1969, I call it a transition tractor, and the fact that it's got all the 1970 characteristics. Still has the 1969 frame without the notch for points, so this tractor originally came from the factory with a solid state ignition. Um, but uh, it has the black engine, uh, the black uh, seat brackets on it, and it has uh, uh, the 1970 pat patio type code on it as well. But it was made in late 1969. Very nice original uh, example that got, came out of uh, the mitten of the state of Michigan. Also, um, I, I, I found from a, from a collector in Michigan is this 1970 140 H3. Uh, this was this was this was this was originally one of uh, Jeremy Anderson's uh, tractors in his collection, and when he downsized his collection, uh, this tractor went to uh, Gary Blackman, and um, uh, he's the gentleman that I acquired it from. Uh, but a really well cut original, and uh, put an original can. Pishin HD air cleaner on this one as well. This one um, is a very early 1969. So unlike uh, uh, the other two, its engine is white the way it came from the factory. Um, it has uh, its white um, uh, uh, seat brackets on it as well. And what's hard to tell because what I got it packed in here is this one has these has the early what we call strike or solid uh, rear wheels, which, which to my understanding, John Deere used for only about 19, or I'm sorry, about uh, six months in 1969. Um, so while all my tractors have hubcaps on them, uh, the ones that have the strike rear wheels, such as this 140 um, uh, H1, the one next to it, and I'm gonna pan back to this particular 1969 110 that has them as well. I like to show off those wheels just because they add a little bit of uh, uniqueness. Um, this this tr uh, tractor spent most of its life in um, Long Island, New York. Um, I acquired it from a now friend, Jeff Radcamp, and um, uh, he actually shipped this to me here in Wisconsin um, to be a fastenal. Uh, nice, nice, well kept original as well in its original April yellow colors. Um, another one of my best originals that also came out of uh, the mitten of the state of Michigan is this 140. This is another early 1969. Um, it's got the uh, flat or strike rear wheels on it as well. A uh, little bit 
different in the yellow early uh, 1969. The earliest had these solid model de de decals where the 140 was pr printed on, on uh, one de decal. And it has the white uh, pedal guards on it. Whereas about 100 tractors later, uh, during the middle of 1969, they went to the vinyl cut decals. So they've got the individual model num numbers on it that make up the 140. And the pedal guards went from white to black. But a really, really well-kept original um, 140H3. Runs as good as it looks. Um, arguably, the rarest of the patio series are the 120 models. Um, and what uh, makes them hard to find is the fact that the 120 wasn't introduced by John Deere until 1970. So they, they, uh, they didn't have the 1969 run like the other three models did. Um, and uh, while it was an economy version of the 140 on the same chassis, but with a 12 horse engine opposed to a 14, uh, one spool hydraulics, no independent brakes, they really didn't sell well. Um, so it's arguably hard enough to find a 120 in green and yellow. Uh, it's much harder to find a original patio version of the 120. Uh, so I've got two of these here. Uh, this one was originally red. Um, it's changed colors uh, throughout the years. Um, I, uh, I didn't have a red seat and hood to put on it, but I did have a very nice yellow seat and hood. So this is one that I swap colors and it, and it kind of takes form with not not intentionally, but what I call my Ukrainian um, John Deere collection here because I seem to have had the most luck finding blue and April yellow uh, patio models and any other colors. But a nice example of an original condition 1970 120 patio in April yellow. And another one of my best in my c collection is this uh, completely original 1970 model 120 uh, in blue spruce. This one as well came out of um, upper Michigan. It seems to be kind of where I've been finding a lot of the nicer patios in my collection. Uh, I'd be the uh, third owner of this tractor, but uh, a really, really nicely well-kept original condition uh, uh, 120 that I'm very proud to have in our collection. So that's kind of a quick walk around. Just do a couple more pans, but it's been the first time ever that I've had all of mine out at the same time. So it's kind of fun to drink a beer and stare at them. Uh, this is my collection as it uh, stands today. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sorry that I talked too much. And uh, feel free to hit me up if you have any questions. Always looking for nice, well-kept, original condi condition uh, patio tractors to add to my little growing fleet here. So anyway, happy Easter, everybody.